Imagine that you are building an application where the user can craft and order custom pizzas with a predefined list of ingredients. When a user creates a product, you want to show the final state on the screen so that the user can approve their order. This particular feature can be implemented using the Builder design pattern. The Builder is a creational design pattern that separates the construction of a complex object from its representation, allowing the same construction process to create different representations. It provides a way to incrementally create objects, allowing you to create complex objects with different configurations, while keeping the construction code separate from the final structure of the object. The pattern is especially useful when creating objects with optional or variable components. Let's create a product builder that contains all the methods we can apply to product. In our case, these are add dough, add tomato, add cheese, add pepperoni, etc. After that, we can create concrete builder to implement the product builder interface, the pizza builder. It works with their specific product, pizza. Now, we are ready to create a specific product. When the user selects the product they want, we will create a new instance of Pizza Builder. We, then, will add all the ingredients selected by the user to the product and get a built product that we can already draw on the screen. Concrete builders know how to apply those specific ingredients to their product and how to build it at the end. There are three actors in this design pattern. Let's start with Builder, which is an interface that declares methods for building the various parts of a complex object. Then, Concrete Builder, a subclass of Builder that implements methods for building individual parts of a complex object. The last actor is the product. It is a complex object being constructed, typically composed of multiple parts. The design pattern offers several benefits. Firstly, it promotes the separation of concerns effectively segregating the build process from the client code. This separation simplifies the management of complex object creation and representation. Secondly, builders enhance configurability, enabling the creation of objects with various configurations while reusing the same building process. Lastly, the pattern enhances code readability, as client code primarily concentrates on high-level object construction rather than delving into detailed construction steps. This design pattern offers several advantages, but it also comes with some disadvantages that need to be considered. One significant drawback is the increased code complexity it introduces. This complexity arises from the creation of multiple classes and interfaces, which can make the overall codebase more intricate. This can be especially problematic for smaller projects, where the benefits of the pattern might not be fully realized. Another potential disadvantage is the risk of inconsistency. This arises because the pattern involves constructing an object step by step. If the builder is not used correctly, there is a possibility of introducing inconsistencies. For instance, forgetting to set the required property or setting properties in the wrong order could result in objects that are in invalid or unexpected states. That's all about the builder design pattern. See you in the next video.